And welcome to another edition of Weekend Magazine. I'm your host, John Patrick. Tonight, we've got one of a kind. Actually, he's the last of his kind, and you'll meet him as we take to the road with the last great traveling medicine show. Tonight, Lisa Clark catches up with another last of its kind, a man with a traveling medicine show. Well, the medicine show's back in town. Medicine show's back in town. A girl I can't work. Tommy Scott's old-time travel and medicine show is an authentic piece of living nostalgia. Traveling to 350 different towns a year in Canada and the U.S., the show has evolved to be the last full-time operating medicine show left in the world today. How about it, folks? You think you can do six all at the same time? Back in the 1800s, early 1900s, the only entertainment that came to little small villages and towns was the old doc with the medicine show. Mm -hmm. And then the people would bring their families out, good, clean show, and they would sell them a bottle of Herbalac or a bottle of snake oil, and that's the way they paid the bill. <laughs> Nowadays, Tommy Scott is still paying the bills the old-fashioned medicine man way by pitching them herbs in bottle form. You want to yell? Oh, the stuff will make you run. That's what made out of herbs. Look, it's no miracle drug. Let's face it, 50% uh, of it is mental, but if you uh, cleanse the wound, tone down the pain, fix it to where Mother Nature does the trick, it'll go ahead and heal it. That Doc Tommy Scott was entrusted with the secret medicine formulas half a century ago by Doc M.F. Chamberlain of Toccoa, Georgia. Doc Chamberlain had developed his magical concoction with the help of a Cherokee Indian. And he studied the ways of the Indian, and he found that different herbs, roots, barks, and berries put together was good for medicinal purposes. At least there's never been any snake in snake oil. Now, when old Doc Chamberlain in 1890 sat around one day in his old medicine wagon, he said, what could I use on there as a logo that would, that would create attention? One is a snake. So that's what he did with the snake oil to create attention. <laughs> East Denali, Georgia is probably the last place you'd expect to see a Chinese pagoda. But now that you have, I'm sure you're not surprised to find out who lives here. Well, everybody's going to look at me odd, but that's the idea of the medicine man to create attention, so that's why we built the house all oriental to kind of fit into the idea of the herbal medicine. Along with the snake oil liniment, Doc Scott pitches the value of herbs, an ancient Chinese tradition, in a bottle labeled Herbalac. This all started in China 2,600 years B.C. That's why all my home and offices and everything is oriental. You know, in keeping, if you're going to be an undertaker, look like one, you see. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why we have everything as a pagoda now. Oh, Lisa, come on through here. Come through the jungle, you know. And uh, we'll go into the living room. Lisa, of course, now we're in the living room here. Of course, it's all oriental. And like I have said earlier, you know, it all started in China. And here's the owner and the producer of the world's last real medicine show, Doc Tommy Scott. Hey, Doc Scott's medicine show has been on the road for 50 years now. And each year presents the challenge of thinking up new ideas to compete with the more modern age of entertainment. Uh, now you know how you get every time you drink a whole bottle of the stuff. <laughs> yeah. It says right here, take one little spoonful before going to bed at night to be used as a very strong laxative. Look at this, go away. Bleb. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, look at here, look at here. You didn't even read the directions. I can't read. You can't read? Well, what do you do with your glasses? I drink out of it. Oh, you drink out <laughs> We visited Tacoa's little Chinatown back in December, before this year's show had traveled its first mile. Uh, this year on the shooting act, why don't we light the two candles, and then I'll put this sharp knife in the middle right here. And you go out there and take that one little 22 bullet, shoot that knife, split the bullet, and let half the bullet put out this part of the candle, and the other half put out the other candle. You think you might be able to do that? Now, you... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, that's not the way you rehearsed it a while ago. You're playing the thing all backwards. What? Turn it around, play it right. Turn it around, play it right, boys. Turn, Turn it around. Okay. Turn it around. Hey, hold huh? What are you doing? Turn the song around like you said. No, I think he meant like this. Oh, that way. 
if we can get it in here. <laughs> You're feeling down and out, you don't know what to do. Seem the world's done crushed you, and your friends turn their back on you. Nature's pathway to health will help you. Doc's Try style to... is infectious, but better left to the pros, I think. The emphasis is on entertainment in Doc Scott's show. At the age of 70, this showman takes pride in the fact that he makes people feel good, both with his medicines and his music. Well, everybody all around are gonna go to the medicine store. Well, now they put on the good show to entertain you. But I'm on the platform, pitching the group, gotta go. Now, y'all can say now that you have been to a real medicine that's show. Right. And shake hands with this little nephew. All right. So when I'm on the road, that's when I'm the happiest. When I can walk out with a guitar, a piece of magic, and charm the people out there, try to, and pitch the medicine, and see the reaction of those people, that is my entire whole life. Well, do you see the bottle? Yeah, we, we see, see the bottle. bottle. It's full of the stuff. Full of the stuff. Now you can trust the bottle. We, we trust, trust the bottle. And tell them you got it at the medicine show. Well. Shake well. Shake well. Time has changed the show. It now travels on rubber wheels rather than wooden ones. But its theme has stayed the same. Doc's wife, Frankie, who once performed in the show, helps to make sure that the neckties are straight and the makeup is not too heavy. Meanwhile, the old Doc prescribes his herbal wonders and brings many smiles to such places as Thomaston, Georgia, where his show is this night. never had a job in my life except on a medicine show. This is my 50th year. The reason I do it is this. I love it. I've more or less carried on the tradition that old Doc Chamberlain left to me. I'd be the most miserable person in the world if I had to just sit here and watch the cars go by. I want to be in one of them cars are going by all over the United States and all over the country. Well, the medicine man, the picture never had the old time medicine show. well, a bottle for a dollar, two a dollar half, a monkey on the chain just to make you laugh. Medicine man, a picture never at the old time medicine show. He's a long tall man with a great big green tongue, pits and pits that'll always win. Oh, matter if the weather is a hot or cold, he knows them birds have got to be sold. Medicine man, a picture never at the old time medicine show. Medicine man, a picture never at the old time medicine show. Well, a bottle for a dollar, two a dollar half, a monkey on the chain just to make you laugh. Medicine man, a picture of the birds, like the old time medicine show. Let's pick! Guaranteed to make it feel fine. 